welcome to my channel if you're not welcome back as y'all can tell by the title i will be doing a start to finish install on this wig there won't be any links in the description box for this wig because i am currently working on my own hair business so well why did i do that my own hair business so this may be you know the wig that i'm selling from y'all i'm currently trying out different vendors so i got the hair and i was like why not try it um that's really it make sure y'all like comment subscribe turn on your post notification bell and let's get into the video all right y'all so the wig I will be installing in this video is a 24 inch 13 by 6 body wave unit. And like I said, I won't have any links to it because I'm trying out vendors. So I'm sorry about that. But I did go ahead and I bleached the knots off camera. And I'm going to be doing the ball cap method as well. I did not go into full detail with these. But if y'all would like separate videos about that, then let me know in the comments below and I, I could do that for y'all. But to start off with the ball cap method, I'm going to take my ghost bun glue and I'm going to put one layer around the hairline of my cap. Now, I did not do it on my hairline. I went above it. And I'm just going to smooth that in with my rat tail comb and let that dry. cap is dry from the glue um, I'm gonna take this LA girl pro concealer in the shade beautiful bronze it is about two shades darker than my skin tone and that's what I'm not gonna say that's what you want but that's what I like and I prefer because it'll make once you put the wig on it'll make it look more natural um, I would say if you use a shade that matches your skin or a shade lighter it won't look as natural but your preference is your preference but I would prefer two shades darker I wouldn't go any darker than that but I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put it all over my cap now I'm gonna be doing the middle part so technically you don't have to put it over your entire cap but I just do it to make sure that I have all of it covered for when I put my wig on covered up what I need on my ball cap with the concealer I'm just gonna take some very small scissors um, you can use a razor blade like a eyebrow razor or you can use bigger scissors but this is just what I had and I'm just gonna I'm not gonna cut the ear part out because I want to pull the thing back like the y'all see like the band that it's making I want to pull that back so I'm just gonna cut above and around that and I'm just gonna take like any extra ball cap that I didn't cut off I'm just gonna cut that off um, I'm not pulling it too hard I'm just pulling it enough to expose what I haven't glued down um, but if there is any extra like I will show you I'll put the wig on and it'll be like a little extra piece on one side and then I will go back and cut that out but other than that I'm not just going crazy and cutting out anything extra So now I'm just going to be taking my 91% um, alcohol and a towel and I'm just going to clean off the perimeter of my head to have it free of any oils, grease, any glue or whatever because when you put your lace down you don't want to put it down on top of that because that can cause lifting. So I just do that as like an extra security step to make sure that when I glue my lace down is you know holding on to nothing that's going to make it come back up. So I did and go ahead and I like spotted out the like the extra cap that I needed to cut off and I did that off camera I didn't show y'all but I did do that 
Um, so now I'm just going to take that concealer again and I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to spread it out on the entire back side of the frontal. And I'm showing y'all that now. And when you do this, you just want to, you know, make sure that you do a thin layer and cover up everything. Some people spray Gossidy spray on it, but I don't. It's, you know, your preference. So now I'm just going to put the wig back on and I'm going to cut out my ear tabs. So what I'm doing is I'm just laying the tabs over my ear and I'm going to see like how much excess there is. Now with this one, there wasn't a lot of excess, which is good. Um, I know some frontals have a lot of extra lace, but this one didn't, which I liked about it. So I'm just going to cut that out and yeah, y'all can see me struggling. cut off my ear tabs I'm gonna go back in with my ghost fun glue and I'm gonna apply three layers um, I don't think I applied all three on camera I can't really remember but um, I'm gonna apply that first layer and I'm just gonna smooth it out really thin like I did when I apply my ball cap and I'm just gonna do that for all three layers and that's pretty much self-explanatory I would say let it dry clear on each layer before you go and put the glue on again because if you don't it'll be like kind of thick and it'll be white and it won't dry properly once you put your lights on so now my glue is tacky it's dry and it's all clear it's like how I need it to be so this is how you want it to look before you lay your lace down but since mine is dry I'm just gonna go ahead and lay my wig down what I am doing is I am pulling it up like maybe a quarter of an inch above where the glue is not even that much but literally like a small amount I pulled it up above where the glue is because I'd rather have enough that is glued down than not enough, if you get what I'm saying. Like, it's plenty of lace. So, the way I'm gluing it down, if y'all can tell, I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but I'm just making sure that it's, you know, I have enough glue down or whatever. Yeah, I broke my comb. I was like, how? I was just doing too much and that's why I broke, but I'm still going to use it because, you know, you got to thug it out. I went to look for another one. So I'm just going to comb that in and like right there it wasn't where I needed it to be so I just lifted it up and pulled my lace where it needed to be and I'm just going to push everything in with my finger and comb it in and then I'm just going to take my wig band and it had velcro straps and I'm just going to tie that up in the back. And then I believe I brought the straps up to the front so it could be like extra tight.
So I have my hair tied down before it's time for me to cut off the lace. I'm going to be hot combing around my part and like all the hair to get it as flat as possible. The products I will be using is the Fantasia Heat Protecting Spray and the She Is Balm Wax Stick. Now you don't want to use too much of these products because they can like, I guess, make your hair weigh down or look greasy or stiff or something. Um, but you don't want to use too much of it, but use just enough. So I'm just going to go through and um, high comb it until it's like flat enough to my liking. So I did go ahead and take off the band and I started hot combing around like where my edges are on the frontal so I could get that like as flat as I needed to before I start cutting off my lace. So now I'm just going to take my Eben Wonder Lace Spray and I'm just going to spray that around the edges of the frontal and I'm going to tie it down again so that it can kind of like melt a little bit before I cut my lace. This is like another extra step that you don't have to do but this is something that I prefer to do. What I'm doing now is I am taking my comb and I am combing out the frontal, the edges part of it, so that I can get ready and cut my lace. Um, I really don't have a reason behind combing it out, but that's just what I do. So with me cutting my lace, I'm going to cut it into three sections. You can do it in two or you can cut the whole thing, however you prefer. And I'm just going to take my eyebrow razor and I'm just going to like pull the frontal up just a little bit. And I'm going to cut it as close as I can, as close to my, um, like my head. Because you don't want additional lace that you would have to glue down. So I like to cut off as much as I can because it's just trying to glue down extra lace is just too much for me like i said like your preference with whatever i do if you do it differently or if you want to do it differently then that's your preference but i'm just going to do what i do and the rest of it is pretty much self-explanatory i'm just going to be doing the same thing that i did with the middle section on the sides as well
right so now that i have all that extra lace cut off i'm just gonna fix up my part um disclaimer my part is not straight whatsoever but it was straight to me so that's all that matters so just make sure you're doing it you're not straight enough for yourself and um i'm just gonna go ahead and take my high comb again and high comb yeah i did not burn myself i'm just dramatic and extra but now I'm just going to pull out, well I pulled out all my edges, y'all didn't see that, but I pulled out all my edges and I'm just going to take my Eben Wonder Lace Spray and I'm going to spray it um, all over the frontal again, um, just so it could be like another extra step of security of, you know, making sure your wig is secure and glued down right so that it can last. So I'm just going to do that and tie down the lace and my edges again with the wig band. I am going to go ahead and cut off the edges, but once it, I feel like it's dry, I did not like do a time limit or anything, but once I feel like that's dry enough, I will start on my edges. so for the edges part of the video um doing edges is very tedious and i would say doing edges you don't have to do it exactly like the person that you see doing their edges you can always do them differently um you may have a different technique a better technique but i did go ahead and cut them with my eyebrow razor um and i cut them at a, like a diagonal slant and um i'm just gonna start by curling them with this small flat iron this is a um, kiss flat iron I'm not sure of the inch but I will have a link in the description box below and I'm just going to take my guys to be gel and put it at like the base of the edge and I'm just going to start swooping it until it looks good to me but like I said you know I'm not a pro at this. I'm still the beginner myself. So, you know, we learn it together because I don't wear wigs often to even know how to finesse them like that. But I was kind of going for a dramatic baby hair look. But like I said, I don't know how to do all that extra stuff. So we learn it together. Um, if you have any tips for me, leave them down in the comments below, okay? so I have to struggle with my edges y'all see this is like the final product and I'm taking it even wonder lace spray again and I'm just gonna spray um, my lace and the edges well not directly on my edges but the lace and it's you know it's making its way onto the edges and I'm just gonna tie that down again with my wig band um, to kind of like mold them in place I was going for like a fluffy look like I was gonna comb them out afterwards but like I said I don't know how to do all that so now this is me trying to comb out, but it wasn't going how I thought it would go. 
so this is just the end product not saying that anything's wrong with this like i like how i look but i wanted that fluffy look and it just wasn't giving fluffy i also forgot to mention that i did go off camera and I styled my hair because that was a long process. Um, I did one curly. I also have the one curlers linked in the description box as well. Um, it was my first time pretty much using a one curler before. So yeah, I was struggling and it took some time and I didn't want to put y'all through that. But one of the last steps of this install is taking that concealer color again and taking like an eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to take a little bit and put it across my lace at the top. Um, this is transparent lace. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not, but it is transparent lace and I'm just going to do that as like an extra step to make it like blend in with my skin a little. Alright y'all, so this is the final look. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Look at the edges. Look at the middle part. The curls. Shock and tail. Look cute. that's it hopefully this was helpful for y'all um i love this hair i love this install when it's time for y'all to shop with me make sure y'all shop with me with that being said thank y'all so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you know if i post my next video um if y'all have any video ideas that y'all want me to do or whatever content y'all would like to see from me make sure y'all drop them in the comments below make sure y'all click all the links in my description as well anyways thank y'all for watching bye let me just lie tonight